code. That's engine coolant temperature sensor circuit malfunction. Basically, your car's computer is saying, hey, the coolant temperature reading I'm getting doesn't make sense. The ECT sensor is a little two-wire sensor that tells the PCM how hot the engine is. The PCM uses that info to control fuel, ignition timing, cooling fans, pretty important stuff. When the signal is out of range, missing or stuck, you get this code. Step 1. Check the coolant. Pop the hood and make sure you actually have coolant in the reservoir and radiator. Low coolant can cause weird readings, or the sensor might not even be touching liquid at all. Step 2. Watch the gauge or scan tool data. With the key on an engine cold, the ECT sensor should read close to ambient temp, basically the outside air temperature. If it says something crazy like negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 300 degrees Fahrenheit right from the start, you know the sensor circuit's lying. Step 3. Inspect the sensor and connector. The ECT sensor usually lives near the thermostat housing or screwed into the cylinder head. Look for corroded pins, broken wires, or coolant leaking into the connector. A green or crusty plug is a big red flag. Step 4. Test the sensor. The ECT sensor is just a temperature-sensitive resistor. You can unplug it and measure resistance with a multimeter. It should change smoothly as the engine warms up. If it's stuck at one value or jumps all over the place, it's bad. Step 5. Check the wiring back to the PCM. Follow the harness for damage, especially where it runs near hot parts or gets rubbed on brackets. A short to ground or open circuit can throw this code just as easily as a bad sensor. Step 6. PCM problems. Rare. If the coolant is full, the sensor is good, the wiring checks out, but the reading is still garbage. Then, and only then, do you start thinking about the PCM itself. Quick checklist for P0115. Verify coolant level is correct. Compare ECT reading to ambient temp when cold. Inspect sensor and connector for leaks, corrosion. Test sensor resistance versus temperature. Check wiring continuity back to PCM. Last resort, PCM issue. A lot of the time, it's just a cheap sensor or corroded connector. Do these checks in order and you can usually nail it without too much hassle. If this helped you out, Hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.